I'm waiting to see how long it takes you to notice we're live. Hey, <laughs> well, hello, everybody. It is actually just Rach, and it's the vlog about nothing and everything. Mostly nothing, but today we do actually have something. Uh, as soon as I find my intro, we'll get that going, and here we go. Rachel. Asian. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Actually Just Raging. Wherever it is that you're tuning in from, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and share this out with your friends. I don't know why, just do it. Let me drop the card here. Nita is still uh, not feeling 100%, but at least you got your background up and moving and uh, intermittent power struggles, I guess. Uh, making sure yeah, that yeah i'm like not interested in people memeing me with frozen <laughs> images oh, so you don't want to be stuck like yeah like i'm like <laughs> totally back behind this card for vanity reasons only well, uh, that, i and, say and, and i say pale. bring on the memes those are fun oh because like i am like unnaturally pale right now like look mm. people shouldn't see this like mm. it, this this is just more pleasant to look at. You're almost as uh, pale as uh, Russell Allen's chest. <laughs> Show me your titties. <laughs> <laughs> so he was talking about the uh, Comics for Kids uh, charitable organization. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, it was just kind of like that, that light from uh, Men in Black. You know, I just saw the whiteness and I forgot everything. I was like, am I, was he talking about something or am I admiring his tattoos? I don't know. I, I needed shades or something. It was kind of funny. <laughs> so I had a, a pretty big thunderstorm kind of go through the area. I kind of posted that on uh, on my Facebook story because you could see the water just pouring down and oh, then it was nice. pooling off of our roof and it was just like a waterfall out there. It's kind of crazy. I've got to go out and see if I've got a hole in my yard because of how much rain was just falling down. But uh, I've got a package reveal. I'm getting ready to open this thing now. I've had this for I think since... Friday or something and I don't remember why why didn't we do this because we haven't vlogged yet we haven't vlogged yeah right. we're lazy vloggers <sighs> I'm um, working on it Get I it. didn't want to Get it. I didn't want to uh box myself here okay make sure I don't have no. anything to got in there so this is from oops okay Here's my scissors I don't want to accidentally cut this. So, um, <clears throat> so how was your weekend anyway? Um, it was a weekend, Meredith. It was like, a weekend? Yeah, it, it, it's kind of complicated. Like, we're still, like, stuff still trying to get back to normal here. Still mm -hmm. power outages. Um gas is starting to appear food oh, good. Is, is starting to make it back on the shelves in the grocery stores uh north like just south and north of i-10 anyway uh mm -hmm. a little further south they're still in pretty bad shape and a lot further south they're still really fucked um right so it's just kind of constantly trying to touch base with everybody and see how everybody through scattered around doing and 
mm -hmm. where you can help when you're barely in a position to, to get by yourself. It's, it's been, it's been rough. Yeah. And uh, that, I, I know that there's a lot of, it's weird though. The news has now focused to the Northeast. Right where Ida went and it's almost like you guys are forgotten. Like you're yeah, not in the news well, anymore. Typical. In 2016, we flooded and like a third, the whole bottom third of the state was under about six to 10 feet of water. You go look it up. It's the 2016 flood. No mm -hmm. media attention whatsoever until like a week after the water came in. Like it, it made news, but it was kind of like in a passing thing. And people yeah. were like, oh, localized flooding. No, motherfucker. Our whole damn state was underwater, but whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah. So here we go. I've got a, uh, a poster, mm -hmm. a, a promo poster. Very pretty. Look at the, the roses and the detail on that. I love skulls too, by the way. Love, love, love skulls. So this is from Jing Jin, uh, Symphonic Verses. And uh, if you go to our uh, show notes, you'll see the link to his shop. It's symphonicverses.com slash shop. And look at this. And it is pretty sturdy. Super not pretty. sturdy. No, it, it's got a lot of pages here. Let me see. This has got to be over 40 pages. It's got to be over 40 pages. And we had a really good chat with him uh, on our show, too. So if you head over to the Ragin um, AVC YouTube, you will see uh, that interview. And he kind of explains a bit about, like, the, um, the different... Um, <laughs> the different boxes over here. Um, a lot to do with music. Like there seems to be a lot of musical references and things like that. The artwork is phenomenal. I mean, it's just you can you can stare at a page and follow some detail and look around and go, wow. You know, like like you come back and there's always something new to discover which is really really cool um so i'm looking forward to reading this uh it, it it's going to be added to my to read pile because there's a few other things that i've got on my desk too but uh it says here symphonic versus volume one fifth printing published may 2020 by quantum entanglement comics so um we're looking forward to seeing more of that i know that he's got a pre-order on his uh, on his website. So make sure that you head over there. In fact, I've got a card here. Ha, ah, look at that. Uh, Symphonicverses.com slash shop and get over there and take a look and see what he has got. Then tune into our interview. Uh, speaking of interviews, we had a pretty Hello. cool one last night. We did. We had uh, Dustin Burnell and April Grady Reyna and Jen Leonard. So anyway, let me let me give a final look at that. Look at it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. Very cool. Uh, we're gonna put that over there. Yeah, uh, so the the uh, chat last night to to talk with them, a lot of different covers to choose from, and it's not it's not a porn book, you guys. I mean, we say mature and everything because it's got a lot of dark. It's got gore. It's got it's dinosaurs. Got well, dinosaurs man, are, no, for no, the no, most no. part, carnivores, okay? And, and there's right? some tits and ass. I mean, yeah, there's tits and ass yeah. in there, but it's uh, it, it, it's not the just the ooh and ah comics as you would mm -hmm. find when you're typically referring to What is the other term material? for that? Uh... Cheesecake? Cheesecake? Is that what they call? What the fuck? <laughs> so, I don't know. I've heard some terminology around that. I'm just like, hey, I, I have no idea. Just tits and ass works. I've heard, I think, cheesecake? I don't know. Tits and ass works. Tits and ass. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was a really good interview. 
with uh, with Dustin and the gang last night to talk about uh, babes scoring dinosaurs, and um, I got really nothing. I just feel like I've got so much on my brain that needs to happen today. Uh, I need to get my butt to the post office. I need to get your butt back home. Bills. Get your butt back uh -huh. home. Work with. I got to get some writing done. Writing. Yeah. We have a review to do. Yes, we do. We have a review. I've got some writing. Uh, got some social media stuff to do. Um, what else? I, there's something. Uh, I, and I uh, told myself I was going to write it down. Secret something to build. Um, okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's got to be built too. That'll probably yeah. take a day or two. Just to make yeah. sure that we get it all right and, and prettied up and everything. But I want to, I, I need, we need to start that today before I die. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't been feeling good. I mean, like this dry, dry cough that's not producing anything. And see, I can't stand coughing because every time I do, I pee. Well, maybe now, while I'm at, I'll go, maybe I'll, when I'm at, I'll go get some adult diapers or something. <laughs> oh my God. Get me the fuck out of here. I am not, I am not about this. No, you don't want the adult diapers? No, I don't want to be raging. Maybe I'll put that in your care package. No. I'll put that in your care package. No? Mm -mm. A little poise? A little no, poise can, in your pants? I'll, when I stop walking the <laughs> 10 feet to the toilet, y'all just take me out back and shoot me. You know, I don't know if it's my age or whatever, but I've got like no core strength. That's something I, I got to work on because I don't like. I am about to mute you because P1. nobody. <laughs> Meredith. Meredith. P1, I'm Meredith. It's a reality. Meredith. What? I'm going to mute you. Stop your it's talking. It's reality. I swear to no. God. No. No. Stop. I love you. Do you want your mic back? All right, let's talk about something else. That depends. <laughs> <coughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help oh myself. My God. Um, yeah, so we've got quite a few things that we need to do. A couple people that we need to kind of chase down. Uh, I've got some errands in the real world. Got to figure out dinner. I don't know. I feel scattered today. Like, all I really want to do is take a nap. Yeah. I need to plug in a, a nap. A sounds so good. And nap while you run to the post office. Yeah. And, uh, like, tea for you. I don't know. Like, what should I throw in your in your care package then? I don't know. What might, what might I have besides, like, meat, which won't make it, uh, that I can stuff in there? Tea. Tea? What kind of tea? I don't know. Whatever. You like green tea or, or the black tea? I like both. Hmm. I like green tea, black tea, floral tea, spicy tea, sweet mm -hmm. tea. Mm -hmm. I just I like tea. I have to be careful with some of the the uh, herbal teas because they're sometimes uh, see I'm I, I'm allergic to rose hips, oh. which is like. What they put in, uh, like vitamin and that's like C the tablets. Best, yeah, that's the best source of vitamin C. Yeah, rose hips. I take yeah. that, and all of a sudden, I just feel like my throat is closing up. It's I've never been into like anaphylactic shock or anything, but I just feel it closing up, and I'm just like, oh man, that could get bad. So yeah, I have to be careful with uh, vitamin C tablets and uh, um, herbal teas because a lot of times they'll just throw that in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, because rose hips are sexy. Mm. I think I have some tea here that uh, it is the, the green tea. I think it's got green tea with ginger and green tea with mint. Yeah. Which is, which is cool. Oh, maybe I'll send you some honey, too. You said you don't have any honey. No, I do not have it. Or wait, do, no, I don't, I don't know. I'd have to go big. Like, mm hmm I may, I may not. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, I know so that we can totally get the hell out of here. 
Yeah, because we've got stuff to do. Uh, let me see. What was the thing? There was another thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Burr, burr, burr. Compendium of Dread. I've still got some physical copies. This is the Kickstarter exclusive edition, which has got um, eight pages of, of um, pencils for, uh, for the dying in the back. Plus, it's got the acknowledgement pages and stuff like that. So uh, I put out an update through the Kickstarter today to highlight a couple of our friends who have uh, either ongoing or uh, soon to launch campaigns on Kickstarter. Uh, but if you want to get a, an exclusive Kickstarter edition, um, these are limited to only 100 copies and they are numbered and uh, I'm keeping track. So so yeah, and then um, I think eventually I'm going to have those out on Amazon, not the Kickstarter edition. So I have to edit that and take all of those extra pages out, but that will be up on uh, Amazon. And that was part of the reason why I didn't have that, uh, the international shipping uh, available on the Kickstarter, because if you order through your local Amazon, if it's available there, um, the shipping costs will not be so prohibitive so that is coming i just wanted to make sure that all the kickstarter people had their stuff first and um and then i have the physical copies and i'm still looking at possibly getting a table at a local convention in november haven't done that yet i've got to make sure that i can pay my bills first and justify the cost of getting the table and travel and stuff like that it's a one-day event i think it might right. be a good idea just to do but then I don't have any banners or anything like that, which is more expense. And I'm like, oh, hmm, you know, I don't know. Poster board and glitter. Everybody loves <laughs> poster boards and glitter. Fuck the world, Meredith. Do it. Do it. You I mean, I still have, I still have bookmarks. Glitter. I have bookmarks. I still have the Compendium of Dread stickers. I Hear have me a few out. other. Black trifold from a school supply store. Mm -hmm. Red fucking glitter. Just a bloody and, hand. And, and a silver marker pen. That's all you fucking need. Hmm. Or a silver paint pen. Marker pen. God damn, I need to lay off the weed. But seriously, <laughs> that'll like that'll totally take care of it. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, because like I You're said, right. I still have uh, bookmarks from the Kickstarter, you know, for fulfillment. Uh, bookmarks and uh, stickers. And yeah, so I think that... That might be a good idea. I mean, because I think the table, I can't remember if it's like 80 or 100, which is really not that much. And I'm like, hey, if I can sell 10 books, I made the table, right? Right. But it's a small event and it's a first time event. And there's no guarantee that I would be in it. But it's it's a thought. I mean, like black travel. Mm -hmm. Red glitter. <laughs> Christian's tuning in. He says glitter is love. Glitter is life. <laughs> Look, and look, and if you get you some props too, get you like a knife handle and a baby doll and like stick the knife handle in the baby doll's head and put some ketchup on it or something. Well, I, I could cosplay like, a corpse or something too. You could do that too. Like, you fuck a banner schmanner. Fuck it. <laughs> do it. My Jimmy says, go for it. You got nothing to lose. All right. That sounds like a plan. I, I've got to put in the application when I come back. I've got some errands to do. We've got to give a little bit of love. Hold on a second. Give her a lot of love. <sighs> give her a lot of love. All right. I know who she's talking about. I do. You ready? Here we Enjoy. go. Hey, guess what? We've got a public 
group where you can do some shameless self-promotion. That is Little Bastard Promos. Make sure that you go over there, shamelessly promote yourself, drop your links, and then hit the button on those who are interesting or they have projects or storefronts or whatever that it is that they're promoting. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. I really no, am. No, you're not. <laughs> For a 10% discount <laughs> on your Gemini mailers, go to Gemini Comic Supply Store and enter coupon code VOLT10. That is coupon code V-O-L-T, number one, number zero. Thank you, Varian Grant and Indy Volt. All right, Meredith, let's go. You're not <laughs> All right, okay. you guys. I am no. not okay. You're not I'm like okay. scattered. I'm like, oh man, I got to put on a bra and go out into the real world. That sucks. You could have at least put on a bra for the vlog. Why? You I only mean, see me from here up. I guess. <laughs> I'm not I'm not wearing pants. Of course, it doesn't really matter right now because you can't see anything. <laughs> I don't know, right? We got the dudes over there. <laughs> They're Michaela hot. Jane says Halloween shops are open now too, so they should have everything you need. Wouldn't that be cool to kind of go as a corpse or a zombie or something? No, wait a minute. I don't think I have zombies in my book. Don't do zombies. Zombies are overrated and played out. I could totally like put like a like a cut across and blood dripping down and stuff like that. I can that. totally walk you through a slice in your throat. Yeah? Yeah. With arteries and all if you want. Ooh. And Christian says he's not wearing pants or a bra, so don't feel bad. All right. Sweet. Join the club, everybody. <laughs> Just don't stand up, okay? Doing it. Uh, Here it come. No, no, don't do it. Oh, you can't see me. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. That sounds that sounds pretty cool. So, And you said something about, because you did special effects makeup before. You did something that, like, there's a crap ton of stuff you can do with Elmer's glue. Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. All right. You and I, we're, we're going to be talking. We're going to be talking because I, I think a, a slit across my throat and some bloody clothes and things like that would be really cool. Maybe that'll help sell some books with the bloody handprint on it. The Compendium of Dread coming to you soon. Uh, limited edition copies available still. I have uh, a handful that I am selling as well, but I don't know. Maybe I should just sit on them <laughs> and hope they sell at the table. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think we're out of here. I'm scatterbrained and I got, I'm trying to think of all the things that I need to get accomplished today. So we need to go. Yeah, we got work to do. Let's go. We good. Let's yeah, it. let's go. Bye, guys. All right. Bye. All right. What was that? Final words. Throw my dudes. Final words. What? Throw my dudes. All right. We're out of here.